Did you know that you're a hybrid car? No, you're not actually a car, but the, the, the technology, the, the, I guess the, the science is very similar to what your body does, right? So let's assume there's two main energy sources. There's fat and carbohydrates. Your body's using each one of these in different amounts at different points in the day, depending on your activity, depending on the fuel sources that came in, et cetera, et cetera. Now, a quick asterisk here is that technically protein can be used as a fuel source. Your body can break down the proteins that you have and use them as a fuel source if the situation arises. But for the main point, for the main, per for the main period of time, it's two main sources are fat and carbohydrates. Fat probably being the one that's used the most. And we'll talk a little bit about why. Your body is like a hybrid in the sense that when it's using electricity, it's using fat. Your body is using electricity while it's using fat. It's because, we'll get that in a moment. And when it's, when it's using carbohydrates, it's like using gasoline. Now, if you have a hybrid car, you probably recognize this, that when you're accelerating very quickly, it causes your body or your car to use gasoline, gasoline being the fat, sorry, the carbs. Whereas when you're in a cruising speed, you're on the highway per se, that is when your body is using the electricity, the fat, or your car is using the electricity. It, when you're needing quick energy, when you need a quick burst of energy, it tends to come from carbohydrates. And when you need, you're able to cruise and you're not really asking way too much from your body, you're allowing it to have time to do the science to get fat broken and used as a fuel source, it actually prefers to do that. But you can't be going too fast, you can't be accelerating too much. That's why you probably use electricity more so when you're uh, parked or when you're at high uh, uh, sort of cruising speeds and not really accelerating, you kind of settle in and use some electricity there. Now, when you're doing high intensity exercise, think like when your heart rate is up, the higher it gets, the more likely you're gonna be using carbohydrates. And, and there's a point where you get to an intensity level that it's all carbohydrates. There's always gonna be a mix. But this is important to understand because when somebody is pushing for high intensity exercise, it's to burn more calories, not necessarily to burn more fat. So the idea of what's burning more fat or carbohydrates while different activities that you're doing, you gotta look at the big picture. You gotta understand the whole approach before we look at what's better for you. Now, there are people out there who would recommend that that it's the, the hormones that are the biggest driver of all this. And to some extent, you know, glucagon and insulin have a big role in this. Glucagon is something that actually breaks down and puts blood uh, glucose into your blood. That's sugar, that's carbohydrates. Insulin stores that sugar into the muscles, into the, into turning into fat, et cetera, et cetera. So one is, is liberating this, this glucose, one is storing it. And, if you, if you consider these two opposites here, you probably want to increase your glucagon and decrease your insulin. So that way your body's using fat, it's oxidizing, it's using fat. But remember, fat burning is not fat loss. You have to go back to that video to, to really understand that. Your body will use fat to do something, but you might not lose fat unless you've used enough of that energy. That's a quick, Reminder. So insulin is something that builds on your body, but if there's nothing there to build, if there's no building blocks, there's no building, nothing is going to happen. You can't build. You still need to fuel your body. So for that matter, don't starve yourself. But remember, the different types of activity are going to require different types of fuel sources. You are a hybrid car. Electricity being your fat usage, gasoline being your carbs usage. And you can play around with the way you're working to make sure that your body burns more one than the other so that you can preferentially burn fat. But that only really becomes something when you've burned enough fat compared to everything else. You've maintained your muscle and that's where all the big rocks come into play. So we can, we can 
turn things to your advantage. We can change the way that your body uses energy, but it is a smaller piece of a larger picture. So remember, although you're a hybrid car, there are other factors that come into play here. Thank you.